All right. Kaz, your team will lose 5 0. Well, that's a very appropriate name because that's pretty much what happens with this game, team every game. But there you go. Old Raw. He's got three mighty blow guys. Just pile on and pray. Who cares? I got armor 9. 11 on 4, still lose. Thinking is hard. Only wins are concedes. We hate dwarfs. No block sucks. Kill teams, keep streaks. All men's pile on. Block is chicken. No ball after three rerolls. Outbashed by L. This is brilliant. <laughs> Killing fields. He's 264, so um, he's got a claw, mighty blow, but armor 7. And a guard. Yes. And his, his no block sucks, doesn't have block, he's got dodge, that's pretty funny. Don't have a ball carrier in this team, which actually makes it very TV efficient now, doesn't it? <laughs> FM is decent, don't compare to quick game. I don't know, it, it's like... Almost as good as the Bantam Bus. No, you know, like the clicker game. Okay, yeah, it's not. It's not like Football Manager in that Football Manager is insanely deep, and this is not deep. But I don't know. Like Football Manager isn't. Football Manager is really fucking easy, though, isn't it? I think you can compare it to this because this is just as easy as Football. Football Manager is probably the easiest game I've ever played in my life. <laughs> it's cool though it's a cool game is football manager because everyone has their story about how like they took the worst gate team in the league to the premiership and the champions league and won everything with their hometown fucking team but let's be honest it's really fucking easy it's ridiculously easy football manager so you know so is this clicker game it's it's really it's really not very deep is it it doesn't take you Probably five minutes to work out which is the best formation and what have you. And who are the best heroes. Um. Oh, no. <laughs> That's not true. Yo, streaming. Yo. Yo. B L G F. Nah, I don't think so, Stradik. I don't think so at all. Football managers, like... Well, okay, kind of is, yeah. When, like... Is that something? Yeah, f yeah, it can. Yeah, it can be. Yeah, fair enough, Stradik. I, I, <laughs> I had a game like that. It was the Champions League final. See, the best thing about football man manager, though, is the fucking stories that you remember, you know? I had fucking Barcelona, Champions League final against Barcelona, and had my guy sent off in the first minute, about 50 shots at goal, don't score, and then they win 1-0. I'm like, fucking hell. Absolute joke. So yeah, there is there is things like that, but yeah, the stories is the best thing about the best thing about uh, football manager, isn't it? Definitely. Right, I just want I just want the calm, calm on the line. Protect him with guard men's. Make that a three D for him. Pick up the ball with some dickhead. I don't give a shit about. Yeah, fucking hell that that time. I don't know which football manager it was. Somebody who was a bigger, a bigger, a bigger football manager fan than me might know the game. There was one where you set your striker to target man and aim for his head, and I had Eddie Johnson, and oh my fucking god, um, there was a. I don't know if you know that there was, a, there was a TV show in England called Peep Show and in Peep Show there was a guy who was called Johnson so um, I I made um, I made his picture the picture of Johnson in the Peep Show the picture of Eddie Johnson in my football manager game and it was fucking amazing it was just so funny every time Every time Eddie Johnson was like, you know, banging in a billion goals. There's just this picture of fucking Johnson from Peep Show. 
It was amazing. I don't get a blitz here, do I? No, I do if I just yeah, I guess I'll assist and blitz with him. He's got block, hasn't he? What could go wrong? Nothing. Peep Show was amazing, yeah. Fucking hell. Hello, Inarin. Yeah, Peep Show was fucking amazing. So, um, you can imagine how good it was. You can imagine how good it was when, um, when I'm playing football manager. <laughs> you can imagine playing football manager and you've got, they've got that little picture. <laughs> and it's fucking Johnson from Peep Show. <laughs> Holy shit, it was amazing. He scored like about 50 goals a season. Or maybe he's more. And the, the oh, which one, which which football manager was it? When, when you had the target man in the head, and I had I had Micah Richards or Micah Richards, or whatever however you pronounce it. Um, I had him up front for England because he was fast and his heading was good, so he just dominated. He was top scorer in the World Cup with like a ridiculous amount of goals, thirteen goals. Or something in the World Cup. Uh, right, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this off so I can.
<laughs> yep, I think that's the right move. Just because it's um, just because people in in um in leagues like this, people like to play bash because they don't like being out bashed. And obviously, the best way to not get out bashed is to be the bash team yourself. But I'll turn the light on. Um, that's basically it. It's attrition is the biggest. It's the biggest factor. I guess a dirty dingo foul here if he wants it. He does have a reserve. So maybe he'll go for it. I've got reserve too. Shit, I didn't realise. I should make a dirty player foul next turn. Sorry. <laughs> um, he hasn't got a dirty player though, so... Yeah, exactly, you know, and that's it. Yeah, rats sometimes do both. But that, that's the main thing, is the attrition. That's why... That's why Bash teams are played more than... More than utility teams. All the time, in these kind of formats. Ooh, oh, beg your pardon. Exactly, exactly. Like the, with a brainless chaos kind of build, you can be literally the worst player in the world. And you're going to win more games with this team than you are with any other team, aren't you? Essentially, that, that's the thing. That's the thing with chaos. If you're the worst player in the world, you win more games with chaos than you win with any other team. I think that's fair to say. No, I could have gone there, shit. Can't make the GFI. Well, it'd be worth fouling his Claw Mighty Blow guy, for instance. Or his Block Guard player, perhaps. Like with my dirty player. I just thought I couldn't help my dirty player. Oh god, you know what? And going back to the football manager point, that was <laughs> what I was going to do. I, I well, I, I won the league. I won the league in the Champions League with um, with fucking Gateshead, which is where I was actually born, not Newcastle. Um, Gateshead, and I, I got Gateshead from like the fucking below the below the fucking um, below the third division, whatever they were. Whatever the fuck it was called, they, they were like ridiculously low level. Got them into the Premier League and everything, won the Champions League, and then what I was going to do was with Viking. Uh, that's that. That's what I was going to win it with. I was going to win it with Viking, uh, and I made the fucking game. And I was like, and it was going to be ridiculously hard to win the Champions League with them, because if you if you if you get a, if you use an English team to win the Champions League, it's it's easy because you get you get. You get the Champions League spots, don't you? Whereas, and you get you get in you get in the Premier League, and then it's it's kind of easy, then, isn't it? You get in the Premier League and you get loads of money. Whereas with Viking, there was they were never ever going to be able to get money. And I thought winning winning the league, winning the Champions League with that, would have been actually a pretty hard thing to do. Um, but I I I made the game. And then I just, I just lost interest because it was, it was actually, you know, I knew it was going to take like 25 seasons or whatever. So I was like, fuck this, fuck this for a game of soldiers and stop playing it. <laughs> yeah, he does have a lot of mighty blow though. Gives you a chance though, doesn't it? It's, 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 it, it is a valid thing. And what's the team that I should go for? Yeah, it's hard, but you get a pretty good team eventually. Yeah, that's the thing, I thought. 
Thanks for the follow, Zach. <laughs> Don't take offence at me for it. Was just, you know, I was just, it was just sad. Wasn't it? I was just sad because sad because bad. He's letting me hit his guy, ah, but he doesn't have the frenzy there. Oh yeah, I've had I've had my whole team regenerated play as well. Fucking hell. And like the sad thing is nobody knows who they are, do they? Because like if if you I remember I had a <laughs> I had a fucking Welsh Welsh striker. What was he called? Um Rod Walker. Fucking hell, I paid so much money for him. Also I always um I also, you know was a was a very tight kind of general manager as well because in football manager you're kind of the general manager as well aren't you like you control all the finances and um i uh i'm always really tight when it comes to the finances and i never want to have to buy anybody two gfis to blitz here this is pretty fucking crazy but it's not three dice fucking derpy strength four Oh well. Should have taken the block off. <laughs> four, se four seasons and beating in the Romanian prime. Yeah, I had, I had this fucking Rod Walker. Holy shit. He was like the best striker ever. And I spent like fucking 50 million on him or whatever. And I was like, I was like, holy shit. And I was just like, I was just had millions and millions and millions and never did anything. Like that. God, I tell you what, I, I liked it as well using good teams sometimes. Because the good teams, oh man, I tell you what. I, <laughs> I, yeah, more grind, yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Fucking hell, I had, I had somebody. I had somebody, who was it? I think it was Newcastle actually. Yeah, it was New. No, it was Newcastle. I don't know why. I was think thinking of telling a different story. But I had Newcastle. Because I often I start with Newcastle, you know, just to get the hang of the mechanics and what have you. And to play years in the future. If you're going to be playing years in the future, then it doesn't matter. You know, if you play 30 seasons with a team, um, then it doesn't really matter what you start out with. You're going to end up the same level, aren't you? So I didn't mind. You know, the first and the first few seasons aren't that easy with Newcastle because obviously the fans, being thick as fuck, expect you to win the Champions League even though your team's shit. So, um, so yeah, I had what did I have? I had, I had, I had, I don't know which football manager it was, but I got to the point where that was it was it was the game that I had Rod Walker and I had I had a lot of other players as well, like you know, just randomly generated players. It was they were all regens and stuff. But I, had, I, had, I got I got um, Beckham on a free when he was like about forty, and he, his his pace was like two or, th or something, two out of twenty his pace because he's just old as fuck. And I got him on a free. His wages were like nothing, and um, and then I got him on a free, and then ma instantly made loads from all the shirt sales, and I only played him in the in the, like the league cup. I only played him in the League Cup, and he was just like a hat trick every game from from like free kicks and stuff, free kicks and penalties, because his free kicks were still twenty, and his penalties were like you know high, and it was just so funny, just fucking forty year old Beckham just bezing around. I enjoyed I enjoyed that greatly. It was pretty funny, and but just got him for the for the shirt sales. Right, what's that? Can reverse here, can't I? Just means selling my uh, selling this guy down the river a little bit. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> LA Galaxy wishes he had a lot of salary. <laughs> yeah, they do, don't they? And that is a true story. 
No, I'm not going to stream Football Manager. Just a just a just a gentle trip down memory lane after comparing it to Clicker Clicker Idols. <laughs> um, go for it to hit Blitz with the Claw Guy. Oh, I've only got two rerolls. Let's not be silly. Geo Farrow in the 2D there. So that's pretty good for the team, isn't it? Just not very good for the claw mate. From the claw pom player. No, I could chain him out. Now I'm just gonna dodge. Oh well. Another armor eight roll on him there. Oh god, you know what I tried to. I also tried to kill Man United, it was pretty funny. I sold all of their players for like a million. And I thought like, you know, with the youth system and that, I wonder how long I could fuck them over for and it, it surprisingly wasn't that long. And I bought Danny Shitu because he was called Shitu and I bought other players with funny things as well. It's plus two. Um, me mech extrax. Right, so the jump up, it's a plus two agility roll. So, you've got, if you're agility three, your base agility roll is a four plus. You get plus one for like making a dodge or making a pickup, which means you do more things on a three plus with agility three. Um, so, but with the jump up, you get plus two to it. So, agility three will require a two plus roll to make a block from um, prone which funnily enough is super high, but there you go that's the story for another day killer's gonna die probably probably is yeah it probably is apple will fail it's pretty standard pretty fucking standard did he make the blitz to chain him to chain him into the into the foul position? Dirty dingo. The good thing is after this foul, I get a, I get them all fight. Everyone gets to fight. I would get jump up in a chalk block with four on me. I wouldn't have them. A long beer, it would need a three plus. Yep. Mech X, Dirk X, whatever. <laughs> whatever that is. We could do it. We could do a football manager game. But I'd be at a severe disadvantage if I was streaming it, wouldn't I? You know, be a, be a 3 plus with agility 2, Johnny Five. 3 plus with agility 2. It's plus 2. So agility 2, the base. How you know what the base. What, what you need the base roll is. Um, your base roll is 7 minus your agility so that would be oh god look at this crazy this crazy thing just so I can fight him more down here Mighty blow. I guess the blitz is mighty blow then. This is a bit shit, this block, isn't it? But it's okay. Kind of want to blitz his card guy, but. Hmm. 
unexciting. Yeah, so it's seven minus your agility. So that's how you know what role somebody needs for the basic role is seven minus two, you need a five plus. Seven minus three, you need a four plus. And then the jump up would add two to that. I like to just always stall for the burrito because I always like to assume my opponent is competent. And uh, and and look, I think a two 0 win is just as good as a four 0 win. Like it depends, obviously, if you're playing a real, if you, like you know, if you're playing a really bad opponent, maybe you want to get more. Or like if you if you've got development things. So like for example, if this guy was, if this guy was on twenty eight, and this guy was on twenty eight. And this guy was on 28. Maybe I'd try to score faster. Like, well, maybe I'd try to score on all three of them, stuff like that. But yeah, so that's how that's how you do it. So yeah, you'd have seven, seven minus your agility to find out your base roll, and then you would add two to your dice roll. So for agility two, is a five plus, without any modifiers, and then the jump up would make it a three plus. And I, I've given jump up to a claw pom nurgle warrior and, and i've done a few three plus and it's all right and it means when he piles on if he's blitzing it's kind of he's kind of like movement seven which is amazing because it always works if you blitz or move oh hello see sing knuckles chaos is not the best blood bowl team well i don't and there's a few that stand above the rest in my mind see knuckles i would say there's a few that stand above the rest there's like I think there's lizards. Lizard men in a TV based matchmaking environment are really good because they get min max, quite low TV. Um, dominate all the bash teams that are prevalent, though they do have a bad matchup against Wood Elves. But they dominate the bash teams as long as they don't get fucked on by Claw Chaos. Um, Wood Elves are obviously outstanding at all TVs, though they are susceptible to be getting heavily outbashed in leagues. Um, Necromantic, I think, could be the best team in Blood Bowl 2 because they're just good at all TVs. Well, they're okay at low TV. They're good at all at all the higher TVs. They get really good, um, really good inducements with Chaney and a Wizard. Obviously, Lizard Men get Silly Billy and a Wizard. Yeah, Amazons are a really good team though. They're not in Blood Bowl 2, but um, yeah, Dwarves. There's a lot of good teams. I think Dwarves are. Um, they are they are pretty good at, at low to mid TV, but then I think I'd rather just have Chaos Dwarves in that in that thing. Right, in that case. So he can maybe base me here, but it's not gonna be that good if he does, is it? Right, so just try and make make some blocks. Like there's 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 a lot of teams that are actually really good. I think uh, Chaos are good at high team value. They are good at winning at item value, but um, are they the best team? Probably not. But then it's hard to say what is. You know? Everything's got pluses and minuses to it, hasn't it? I just get all the guard. Jam all the guard in to protect their neck. Put him in there to make that safe. Mm. Get a claw bomb hit on his claw mighty low. Seems good. Only wins are concedes. He's coming back 75% of the time, so I think it's okay to pile on here. Lizard men can have trouble in TV matchmaking. I think, well, all you do is just don't have TV block. So it's simple, isn't it? You can control that easily. Yeah, exactly. I don't have an issue with ditching scenes or having them die. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, two KOs teams banging on each other, no injuries. He's made four KOs though, it's pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> Three of his mighty blows out. Hmm. Nothing out for me, pretty good. Uh, 
Oh, stupid. Well, I think, I think, <laughs> I think most of people, I think like most people who are excited for a shit team, you'll be excited for them, you'll play them and you'll be like, oh, fuck this. So you might, you might, you might enjoy them, you know. But, um, if you haven't played them before and you're getting excited for them, I'd recommend exercising some restraint in your excitement because chances are you're going to be like, oh god, we lose a lot. A bit like, um, a bit like, a bit like Nurgle. How bad Nurgle are low TV. Block has indeed beat Mighty Blow this game, yeah, that's true. I'm not excited for any teams in Legendary Edition. To be honest, Rocktash, I'm not excited for any of the teams. <laughs> I can't blitz with him. He's, he's controlled my claw pump, though, hasn't he? He's done that well. Get a three dice with claw mighty blow, that's probably worth it, isn't it? Can risk, can risk that. <laughs> of course, roll the one in 27. <laughs> Nothing. Well, I've got a white team here, haven't I? What team's my? What colours my team normally? Oh, we've normally got the same colours. My team's normally the colour he is. So there is there is a feature. Sign I do have a feature whereby, if there's a clash, they give they give a different team a different colour. That's good, isn't it? But you should be able to just choose to give like a white team or a black team or whatever. Race is cyanide. Put the claw bomber off for a rock. Jimmy's always excited and always fantastic. <laughs> I don't think it will, Eyes and Mike, to be honest. This is live, Maggie. Yeah, <laughs> this is live. Yeah, drops your jersey for exactly entirely for the exact same. Ah, thank you, Grindel. Yeah, they should have done a home the week, yeah. They should have done. I would love it if they ported over the MVP. The other rules on the tabletop. And the thing with the seasons is, like the main attrition mechanic now in leagues is the season mechanic. But can you have seasons in a in a massively like you know in a matchmaking environment? Don't think you can. Well, I guess they could. They could have the season. They could have their qualifying six week seasons. Um, that's the phone. <laughs> um, I'm not going to beast over because I guarantee qualification. Um, yeah, you got all the KO guys back. It's good, isn't it? Typical. Just Jimmy things. Not getting those partnered, partnered streamer dice yet. I don't think anybody will be winning the title with goblins. <laughs> J5. I don't think it's possible to win the title with goblins. I'm going to put it out there and say it's not possible to win with goblins or halflings or. No, vampires are possible. I would say. Oh, does he have two bibs? Alright, fair enough then. I didn't even know that. 
No, I don't think Ducky can. I don't think I don't think you can win with Olga's goblins or I don't think it's possible for Olga's goblins or or um Yeah, I didn't realise you had two babes. In that case my pile on his KO'd player was even better then. It was even better. I thought he was getting him back three times out of four. Not thirty five times out of thirty six. So that was an obvious pile on his his KO'd player. There you go, 1 0 up, done no damage. Happy days. Gotta let him hit a warrior with Claw Mighty Blow. Kind of sucks. I guess he don't have to. He, he could work to hit that one, couldn't he? And chances are he's gonna blitz one of these two, so. I'd rather lose them than a Chaos Warrior. Half oh, flings will win. No, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm pretty sure it. Ogres, Goblins, and Halflings cannot win it. Just cannot win it. Even though they're guaranteed to be in the finals every time, I'm pretty sure they cannot win. And then, uh, what else is there? Underworld could, but I just don't think they ever would. Vampires definitely can win it. Vampires get pretty good at high TV. Um, it's just whether people... I mean, the thing is just whether good coaches will use them, isn't it, as well? That's the thing. So... I don't know. I don't know. I, th I think pretty much the three worst teams cannot win it. Underworld, I guess, could get lucky, couldn't they? Well, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that far. Lul is a C. I wouldn't go that far, Lou. I wouldn't say they have a disadvantage because they will be down TV anyway, you know. So it's not really a disadvantage. Nah, ten zero thirty two will definitely not be good enough to make the playoffs with our friends. Someone decent will use them and get an okay record with them. Nah, I don't think it does. Honestly, I really don't think it does, Lou. I really don't think it does hurt them at all. I think the last thing you want is any teams to be down t more TV than you have to be. So, you know. They can cheat in 100 TV. Yeah, they can buy a chef. Exactly. Harvins can just buy the chef. So they don't have to be down TV to just put in money from the tre treasury and cheat, cheat, a, cheat a chef. So Halflings being up Halflings can be. Halflings would rather be up than down TV. No team would like to be down TV. This is just. This is just Sage perpetuating lies, because he doesn't understand Blood Bowl. Um, nobody wants to be down 300 TV. Nobody. Nobody. Because if you are down 300 TV, it means your opponent has five more block players and three, two more tackle players. And four more mighty blow players. They don't want to fucking be down 300 TV at all. <laughs> so, there you go. They'd much rather, if you have a 1300 halfling team, believe me, you'd rather be matched up against a 1000 TV team than a fucking 1800 one. 100% <laughs> of the time. And you can always cheat in 100k for a, for a chef sometimes. Yeah, Skaven Rails, yeah. Or, well, not even down 150, just down like 130 and then put in 20k of their own money for a wizard. But still, you would still, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm just saying that halflings would, you, you know, if you've got a 1200 TV team, you would rather not get fucking banged on by a 1500 TV team. Yeah, exactly, Ultimate Toma, exactly. <laughs> yeah, Skaven are good at higher TV. Any TV, they're not so good at rookie. They're not so good at a thousand, because you know, they get better as they they get better as they got the runners and their um, and their storm vermin get better. Yeah, it just depends, Ducky. It just depends. It depends on racial stuff, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Like I I I only like even Nurgle. I like to cap out about eighteen fifty. Just so that you can get a wizard against the two K teams. So it just depends. It just depends. 
Like, and it depends how that TV is. Yeah, exactly. Depends on the team. It depends how that TV is spent. You know, if you could just spend 60 TV to get a claw palm, you would fucking spend 180 TV, wouldn't you, if you could and stuff like that. Yeah, exactly, Eric behind me, yeah. Now, I wouldn't say Skaven are god tier just because they're not as god tier as Woody's. <laughs> so. I don't think there's a problem to fix, honestly, Grindor. I mean, obviously, they'd be really good if they could roster. If they could roster the bribes and the stars and stuff, they'd be they'd be more powerful than if they couldn't. But um, I don't really think there's a problem. I'm just going to blitz with him and then run away. Hit and run blitz. Got him. The miss most consistent the goal for champions that are yeah zones as well pro elves pro elves though as well isn't it? it depends the thing is the zones the best way to do to do zones would be stay at a thousand tv the only thing is due to the fucking due to the tv plus matching you're going to be matched as, against as 1500 um or whatever or more so you're going to be down a lot more as amazons so Oh, it's just the fucking matching in Blood Bowl 2 sucks to fucking death. Like, isn't it ridiculous? Yeah, Vamps could win it. Yeah, I guess Vampires, Pro Elves, Pro Elves probably are Vampires. They can win it for Zons. Zons can win it, but it's going to be harder for Zons. Um, right, let me let me find something here. <laughs> Breaking that and you try and stick your fingers up at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> black box, right? Let's have a look at black box here. I'll show you. I'll show you after this game, the matching in in fumble, right? And how 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 come cyanide can't match TV like this, right? How how come? I'll I'll do it now because there's nothing happening in this game, is there? Right. Let's have a. Why can't why can't fucking cyanide match like this? Thousand versus a thousand, seventeen versus seventeen, eleven twenty versus twelve, thirteen ten versus thirteen ten, eleven ninety, eleven eighty. Okay, one hundred and forty difference. Ooh. Thirteen ten versus thirteen thirty, forty TV difference there, twenty TV difference there. That was a bit of a bad one, I guess. One hundred and thirty TV, twenty TV, ten, nothing. 80. I mean, it's ridiculous. How can, how can, how can fumble where well, there's about three people fucking playing at anyone? Like, you know, they only, there's only four people spinning there, and then they get a perfectly even game. Both everyone gets even game. It's just fucking stupid. The matching in cyanide is so fucking shit. It's unbelievable. Absolutely fucking unbelievable. I'm just gonna try and get a player down, I guess. Could go in there, but I don't. I don't know. I just don't feel like facing him. Maybe I could. All right. Where, where can he get to? One, two, three, four, five. All right. Fuck it. Let's go then. Let's go. Base all men's. Blitz him because he hasn't got block. Yeah, Fungal has far less players. Far less players. And yet they get they get fairer matches. I mean, isn't that fucking stupid? Isn't that absolutely fucking stupid? Fumble has inc like ridiculously less players than Cyanide. And yet the matches are far more fair. Fucking ridiculous. I 
slammed in a bit, see what happens. Me taking a dirty play was fucking dumb because I never get to use it. Maybe because I don't have the budget. <laughs> Ridiculous, isn't it? It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. It's just it's just ridiculous. I really hate that the matching and fumble is so much better than Sinai. It's stupid, isn't it? So fucking stupid. Don't call himself the Matrix Murder. <laughs> yeah, Rookie 82. It's happened. It, it did happen. Against the guy that fucked me earlier. You know, the first time we played, I just murdered him and so he conceded on like turn three. Septillion or some bollocks, right? Get him to 625. Let's see how much damage this goes up to. 648 up to bam, 2.6. Oh yeah. Nice, who's retreated. Claw Pommer's safe. Is he going to dodge the foul? Plus one. I can't believe how many fouls he's made and hasn't had any caught as well. He hasn't got a bribe. He's just been fouling like a madman all the time. I don't know how many fouls. How many fouls he made? About five or six? This never, never gets caught. One dice power, because why not? Had that been a skull, he was in quite a bit of trouble, I think. Ref's mine. Fucking is. Oh, yeah. We hit dwarves. I thought that was like white dwarves there. Too, isn't it? If I blitz him, then that's a two as well. So I guess put him down there. Him over here. Block with him, stand him up. So yeah, blitz here. Even though he's kind of a low value player at a blitz, isn't he? hesitation there because I thought you know there is some there is some positional um, advantage to be had he's just going to come back and be the safety now against a potential potential potato because <coughs> undied <laughs> oh, it's okay <laughs> <Mute> it. <laughs> nearly burst my head <laughs> This auto goal is fucking game, yeah. Auto progression enabled by. Yeah, this clicker game's amazing. Uh, 
The thing is though, the slider, the slider's all well and good, but what happens with the slider, right, is, what happens with the slider is, right, you make your team at a thousand, and you set your slider to like a hundred or 150, and then you keep it at 150 until you get up to 1800, then you fucking increase it, because so you can bang on fucking newbies who haven't, who haven't protected themselves or, you know. So that's, that's the thing. That's the thing about the slider. The clicker game um, is Bainsey1986. Well, I don't want to endorse it just yet because in a few, well, in about a week or so, hopefully, a week or two maybe, I should have a sexy little um, button for you, a sexy little link for you to click whereby you can get it, but um, it's not it's not bad. Sliders only TV above, not below. All right, well, why would anyone have it? So it would just be, ex you'd just be exploiting newbies who didn't do it. Why would anyone have it above? Why would anyone choose to play down TV more than 150 or whatever? Thank you for the follow, whoever your name is there. Yeah, exactly, Bob Skills McBob. Exactly. Yeah, see, I knew he'd do that. That's why I didn't want to file. That's why I didn't want to pile on there, because I knew that was giving him. But then that's why I had to move him back. So I don't think it's that bad. He's potato, but I've got the cover for it. Pin school master race. Flings. No, I don't think they would. Was there? I really don't think they would. I really don't think they would choose to play against a team with more tackle and more mighty blow on purpose. I really don't think they would. Really, really don't think they would choose to play against a team with more mighty blow and more tackle than they absolutely have to play against. But there you go. Could be wrong. Yeah, this clicker game is pretty good because um, you never have to click on it. Right. He can reach. Well, he can reach as well, can he? With a GFI. So. But this is a little bit bad, isn't it? Because that would just be a one dice. Can't make it a two dice. He could two dice him, but it wouldn't achieve anything. So one day to free him up. Or just two GFIs for him to hit. The one D from him is better, isn't it? Because then it's a GFI to hit with block and mighty blow. So I reckon do this one dice first. Guess I could have stood people up. Of course it's a skull. Fucking hell. Fucking had to be, didn't it? GFI to hit him. Don't fucking roll a one. Anything but a one. Have to make two two plus rolls and roll a one on both of them. Just fucking, just blood ball, drawing a game that 
you know, maybe I shouldn't have piled on. Piled on, maybe he's lost me the game there. Maybe I shouldn't have piled on there. I thought about not piling on. Maybe lost the game because of it. Maybe I should have moved him up and then gone for the two GFIs with him, so at least he'd be based. I don't know. Yeah, day one. It's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Cap though, right? Fumble. The f cap on fumble is huge. The cap on fumble is huge. Yet they yet they match ridiculously close, and cyanide match ridiculously away. So I just don't understand how cyanide's matching can be so bad. It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, that's true, guitar. But yeah, different teams get different things. For example, Necro and. Liz, uh, lizard men don't mind silly bully in a wizard or chaining a wizard. I, this is just dumb as fuck, isn't it? Every fucking game, uh, he can die anyway because I never get to fucking foul anybody. I'm never, I'm never, I'm never up in men ever, so I never get to foul anybody ever. So I don't need to keep him, him alive. I, I don't think the slider is good because the thing is the slider. It's like a fucking, it's like these skill testing things in magic and stuff, isn't it? They're just noob traps and stuff. That's just a noob trap. A noob's like, oh, I can win 500 TV down. And then they set it and then they get fucked or whatever. I, just, I think things that make it harder for new players shouldn't be in. Yeah, he never ever got to DP foul. Because I'm always down in men. Never get to DP foul with him. So he can just fucking die. Useless cunt. The one time that was gonna foul. Oh. I'm just talking about my player. <laughs> the one game, the one game he was gonna fucking foul, he fucking got badly hurt before the before I got a player fucking turn. I mean, what a load of shit. If that is, if he isn't the worst dirty player ever, I don't know who fucking is. He deserved to die. Nice of him to give me a shot, wasn't it? anyway, wasn't it? Nice of him to give me a chance. Nine players against nine, maybe ten. He's got 10, I got 9, so there's a chance here at least. Yep, exactly, Shawnee. Exactly. So why why piss about about this cap and everything? That's what I'm saying. So saying about this fucking cap business is just bollocks. You just need to make it the same as fucking Fumble. That's all you need to do. Just make it identical to Fumble. And then it's alright, isn't it? Try to win. Thanks. Yeah, it's a pretty brainless. That's a pretty brainless thing to do to try to win. <laughs> TBH. <laughs> Living up to the name of brainless chaos is trying to trying to win a game as a bash team. Usually the fucking wrong thing to do. Like how I don't know is that bad game design? That it's pretty much a stupid thing to do to try to win a game with a bash team. Meanwhile, it's easy for Wood Elves and stuff to try and win a game. I don't know. Yeah. 
Yep. Yeah, he still wants to try. Lovely fella. It was very nice of him to give me the chance to win. Very nice. Is choice good though, Berserk? When one of the choices is bad, why give people a bad choice? Isn't that just bad people are going to pick that then? A new player's going to pick it. I don't think choice is necessarily good, to be honest. Just because <laughs> most choices are the wrong one, aren't they? So, like. No, they don't. They don't want more than necessary. They don't want to purposefully get fucked. I'm sorry. Inarian is wrong if he says they want to get fucked. Because they just don't want to get fucked. So, so there. Receiving threat. Go long. No oh Christ, I've got no place to protect the ball. <laughs> Why not pile on? Exactly, Eyes and Mike. Exactly. I didn't say flings hit 150 TV down matches. I said they don't want to purposely get fucked on. They don't want to get per they don't want to open it up to 50 TV matches just so they can get fucking ploughed. By tackle mighty blow, you know they don't choose to get fucking banged on. Are they fuck? You you said well, he said the wrong thing, Berserk, just to try and aid your argument, which is wrong. It's just wrong. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. And Eyes and Mike's got it right. So there you go. It's wrong. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. All wrong. End of discussion. Stop being wrong, everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's there is the protection thing for yeah, the first the first fifteen games or so, yeah. Right, so it's gonna be two three pluses to get at the core comma, isn't it? That's the plan. That's the fucking plan. Maybe a chain push out. Potentially. Oh, God. The thing is, though... Oh, right. No, I'm done. I'm done. Ignore chat's the best way. Fucking hell. Maybe overcommitted over here. Could maybe dodge away and uh, make a break down here. I just let people fucking discuss crap. It's easier, isn't it? Um. 
um, jump up or frenzy. Pedro. Oh man, look at this dirty dingo. <laughs> that thing that's fucked him though, potentially. It's potentially fucked him here. Yeah. Oh god, too many dice rolls. <laughs> Stop that. Wow, the fucking dice, he had the dice of death that turn, didn't he? Wow. Too lucky. When people roll like this, there's, there's literally nothing you can do, is there? It's a 4-3 out. Hand off. Or just two GFIs. One, two, three, four, five, six GFI. So, right, gotta, gotta make these. Alright, good. And I guess the three GFIs, nah. I can roll like this too, yeah, to be fair. Right, um, what's this? Oh dear, no. <laughs> um, right, let's let's sambury. I've got three two pluses with a reroll, which is eighty six. So the handoff's better, isn't it? Ah, oh, then the handoff is a three plus and a two plus, which is eighty three. So, because he's not over the halfway line, so the two GFIs are well. GFIs are better. One, two, three, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. One, two, three, four, four, five, six, GFI, GFI. That's hard, isn't it? That is hard times. One D there wasn't as crazy as it seemed because it does let me get tackle on his dodge guy and um, you know it was a 2 plus wasn't it wasn't that fucking crazy he made some rolls there but I made some rolls too well mine was only a 4 plus 3 plus but still that was crazy all those rules to make like to make it because if any of them had failed, it was game over, wasn't it? There was a lot of those. Yeah, this should be a bit resistant here. You just drop it berserk. I mean, you can you can talk about it in someone else's chat, but I'm I'm, I'm being polite. I'm just bored with it, all right, so just, just drop it, because you're wrong. Okay.
can't chain him forward anyway, can I, now that he fell over? So, two plus to win. GG. Thanks for giving me a chance, old roll. Lovely fella. You can discuss it in an hour's chat, yeah, that's fair enough, isn't it? No, Ducky, that's not a good idea to prevent Tackle Pond because we want to be down 500 TV by a chance to make sure they get Tackle Pond to oblivion, if you ask some people. But anyway, right, that was a win. That was very nice of him to not stall, wasn't it? <laughs> but yeah, obviously, like, it's just, it's just dumb that that's how bad Bash is. If you try to win, you lose. But I mean, agility teams are like that sometimes, aren't they? As Inarian scores early against good players and losers. In general. <laughs> In general, when he scores early against good players, he loses. So I guess. I guess it's similar for um, agility teams sometimes. Roll Fagors. No, I don't like that so much. Lon Fagor's better. Yeah, it's all about in the forums on Narin's chat, but not in my chat, because it's just wrong. Nah, not not three wins to Day De Strad DK. Um two wins and a ridiculous loss. So there you go. Long faggots. <laughs> it's not shots fired, it's just true. You just look at his Inari. Um, Shawnee beat him 2 1 twice with his Dark Elves. Lost. It's not a punch below the belt, it's just true. When you play good players, your style often leads to losses. That's not being that's not being nasty or sh firing shots. It's, um, it's just that's what happens, isn't it? If you're scoring, scoring early and then trying to win. Often, often goes often goes badly, even for good coaches. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's it's not with shots fired. You know, it's just it's just the nature of blood ball, isn't it? Trying to win, going for wins, is often the wrong thing to do, which is a shame. It's just obviously more pronounced with bash. I mean, you'd never play the the style you play with a bash team, would you, Inarin? Because it'd be fucking ridiculously fucking stupid to play the way you play with a bash team. You know, the way you play elves, playing with a bash team would be fucking stupid and shit and wrong. And you would lose far more than you won if you played the way you play with elves. Trying to score in like two or three turns with a, with a fucking orcs or dwarves. It would be shit and you'd lose nearly every time, no matter how good you are at Blood Bowl. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Pedro Jack. Um, it is. I don't know, Lupac's like 111 in a row, Stradie K. So, um... It's pretty ridiculous. Euro truck, just all bricks. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it can be more fun. Lead losses sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there you go. I wasn't, I wasn't being fucking harsh on him at all. Exactly, exactly. It would be impossible. Exactly. That's that's my point. So so even though it sometimes fails in Aryan with elves, it would almost always fail him with Bash, wouldn't it? That's the that's the point. So Bash are just worse at winning than agility teams. It's just it's just a fact, isn't it? There's not it's not debatable that it's worse. It's hard it's just I don't know. Pretty, pretty badly beaver on acid. Pretty badly. Um, he, I, he saw me spinning the other day, so he just didn't spin. He just he just sat and just sat there staring at the screen for about five minutes as he waited for me to get matched. It was pretty funny. So I think I think I need to get matched against Lupac team, beat him two or three times or four times. I mean, I'm on like six losses now. 27 wins, six losses. So I just need to give him six losses and then it'll be all right. Um... 
But yeah, it's an unimpressive team, isn't it? Very unimpressive. I don't know. It is what it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah.